Hello, it's been a while since I filmed a haul video and this Sephora haul has been long overdue. I actually bought this stuff about 2 or 3 months ago during the Sephora 20% uh, off sale. So yeah, I'm really really late but I just wanted to share with you what I got so let's just get right into the items. So the very first product I'm going to show you is the Benefit Cheeky Sweet Spot box of blushes and this has all the, what's that called, the popular colors from Dandelion to Hula. So I was really excited to get this palette because I didn't own any Benefit blushes but I was really eyeing them for quite a while so I was really happy when they came out with this holiday edition it comes in this really pretty tin container and yeah that's the first product the second product is a massive eyeshadow palette from Smashbox and it is in a box like this it looks like a book it's quite heavy it has this elastic to close it because it opens like like that there's kind of like a booklet to teach you or to experiment on the looks that you want to do it has two sides to it the what is this side the right side has more brown neutral everyday colors that you can use i've used this in some of my tutorials before that's the right side and then the left side has the really bright colors for i guess special occasions the reason why I bought this palette is because I didn't have colors like this hot pink or this bright green and I really like colors especially to experiment with so I was really excited to see this palette. There are no brushes included but there's all the colors that you can actually think of so. I also bought another palette, this one's smaller, is a I would say travel size, it's Dior palette right here. This one is in the color 508 Nude Pink Design and it comes in this really pretty packaging. When you open it, it has four eyeshadow colors as well as a gel liner and sponge tip applicators as well as a small, super tiny angled brush. The colors are really sheer, they're not really that pigmented but they are gorgeous. They are really shimmery and they are velvety soft. The eyeliner, it's kind of on the sheer side, so you have to build it up if you do want to use it. I used it a couple times just to try it out, but I usually like my wing liner to be, I would say, a little bit more dramatic, darker. Oops, the mirror. So that's the third product. I also got this Bobbi Brown gel liner. Now this is my very first Bobbi Brown product, but I like it so far. I got this in the color Espresso Ink 7. I actually waited quite a while to get this color because every time I went to the store, they always sold out of this color. It is just a really dark brown shade. I used it a couple times and so far I really like it. So yeah, next I bought this online, this is a travel size brush set that has a face, face brush, eyeshadow, all over eyeshadow, precision, blending or crease, and a angled brush. I actually bought this because I was, I went traveling so I actually took this and it was really really convenient to use. This was also on sale so I got that. Next product, I cream. this is the Dior Hydra Life and it's really, really, really moisturizing. As you can see, I've used quite a while, quite a while. I've used quite, I use quite, what? okay, my English sucks, uh, mochi? Um, I used quite a lot of this product. It was quite pricey, I just used like a really small drop on my ring finger and kind of spread it all over my eye area. That's the other product. For pencil eye products, the first one is the Marc Jacobs Pencil Shadow in the color Twinkle Pop. Twinkle Pop? No, no. 
This is the Twinkle Pop series in the Shoshana color. Yeah. And it is a really pretty green color, really shimmery. It is really pretty. I still haven't used it because I don't really know what when to use it because it's pretty bright. It's really creamy and it is blendable if you don't like the color to be so uh, concentrated. Next product is this other Marc Jacobs eyeliner and this is in Mary Gold. This is just a <coughs> this is just a twist on eyeliner type pencil and it is a really pretty color just for highlighting I would say. And the reason why I got this color with the other green color is because they go really well together. So let me show you how it looks. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that color right there? Don't they look really pretty together? So um, I'm thinking of making a tutorial on kind of these two color combinations. But let me know what you think in the comment box below. So that's that. Then I got two Urban Decay 24-7 gel liners. This is in the Yayo white color and then this one is in the electric color. So a white and a blue. The white and the blue. Yeah. So it's these two colors that you see right here. Aren't they pretty? Next, I bought this Dior Universal Lip Pencil. I honestly, I think I used it once or twice. But when I tried it on the store, I really, really liked it. But when I got home and I put it on, I don't know. I was kind of disappointed. Because maybe it's because my lips were dry when I tried it. But it is a transparent color. So there's no color to it whatsoever. So you just basically put it on your lips, like outline your lips and then this will prevent your lipstick or lip tint or any lip product from smearing out of the edges. And it also comes with a, uh, what is this, a lip brush. Last three products are all lip, lip products. The very first product is this YSL lipstick. It's in the color Rouge Balupte. And it is a really pretty pink. And YSL lipsticks are really pigmented and really, really soft and creamy. So, uh, let's see. Eh. This is how the color looks. Rose pink color. Oh. And they smell fruity. Really good smell. It's kind of floral, kind of fruity, really sweet. That does the lipstick. And I really love YSL packaging. Next, I bought two YSL lip tints. And the first one, the purple one, is in color 108. I don't remember the name, the actual name of this product. But let me show you how it looks. This purple is actually a little sheer. It's not as pigmented. Because it is a lip tint but it smells fruity candy like that's the color right there it is really sheer so you can build it up but if you do build it up it can it tends to dry and your lips tend to show the cracks and the imperfections so that's the downside of it but it's a really pretty color and then this is my favorite this is the in number 13 I do remember the name of this this is called Rose Tempura and unlike the purple one this is actually really really pigmented I would say that this is more of a liquid lipstick consistency and it actually smells the same as the purple one so it it's this really bright pink shade right here and I've been using these quite a while. I actually used this when I went to... Oh, it's texty. I actually used this a lot when I was in Korea. 
So yeah, it's really pretty, it's really pigmented, and it actually lasts a really long time. Oh, also when I bought that Sephora, I actually became a um, BIB Root member. I should probably be really worried because that's a lot of money um, at Sephora. Yay, I'm a BIB Root member. Um, but yeah. This concludes my Sephora haul. I do have like samples and kind of free stuff that you get when you buy online at Sephora but if I show you that this video is going to be too long so this is all for the Sephora haul. If you're interested in finding out more about my uh, Korean cosmetics haul I'll be filming another video right after this one. Thank you so much for watching for your constant support Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Also, if you have any questions about the products or if you have any suggestions for any makeup tutorials or anything like that Please comment down in the comment box below and That is all for this video. See you in my next one. Thank you Bye